There are many different ways to treat kidney failure. While many people start treatment with dialysis in a center, there are actually many different types of treatment for kidney failure. The goal of this video is to give you a better understanding of the options. Then, you can have a discussion with your doctor and dialysis care team about what interests you. Remember, your treatment is your choice. Kidney Transplant Many people choose to pursue a kidney transplant as a treatment option. It's widely considered the best treatment option for kidney failure. A kidney transplant is a surgery that places a healthy kidney from a donor into the body. The new kidney takes over the work from both failed kidneys. This means that dialysis is not needed. Where do kidneys for transplant come from? Patients can seek a living donor. This is usually a family member or friend willing to donate one of their kidneys. The living donor needs to have certain criteria that match you, including blood type. For those that find a matching living donor, surgery can be performed soon after. If you don't have a living donor, you may have the option to join the waitlist for a kidney donation from a person who has recently passed away. The average wait time for a kidney from a deceased donor is 3 to 5 years. Normally, dialysis is needed while the patient waits for a kidney to be donated for transplant. Not all patients qualify for transplant, but many do. If you're interested, discuss transplant with your doctor and dialysis care team. Dialysis There are two types of dialysis treatments, hemodialysis and peritoneal dialysis. First, let's discuss hemodialysis. Hemodialysis is what most people picture when they think of dialysis. It uses a vascular access to connect the body to a dialysis machine. The dialysis machine slowly filters out waste and extra fluid from the blood. Blood cycles through the dialysis machine for cleaning, then returns back to the body. Hemodialysis can be done in a dialysis center or at home. Doing hemodialysis treatments in a dialysis center is called in-center hemodialysis. With this option, a team of trained professionals and licensed clinicians provide the full dialysis treatment. They also monitor the patient's health and answer questions. The patient will typically need three treatments per week in a center. Each treatment is usually about four hours long. In-center hemodialysis can be done during the day or in the evening in most centers. In some centers, it can even be done overnight. Instead of dialysis in a center, doing dialysis at home is called home hemodialysis. To do hemodialysis at home, a patient uses a smaller version of the hemodialysis machine from a dialysis center. The patient must have a trained care partner to help with treatments. This includes connecting the patient to the machine using needles. The dialysis center provides training to the care partner. Home hemodialysis patients are often prescribed 5 to 7 treatments per week. Now, let's talk about peritoneal dialysis. Peritoneal dialysis is very different from hemodialysis. Unlike hemodialysis, blood never leaves the body to be cleaned by a machine. Instead, waste is filtered out using a natural filter in the body. This natural filter is the lining of the abdomen. To use the natural filter, a small tube about the width of a pencil needs to be surgically implanted in the abdomen. It becomes the port for cleansing solution to be added and waste to be removed. There are two ways to do peritoneal dialysis. The first way is manually using IV bags. The patient uses an IV bag to add special cleansing solution into their abdomen. There are no needles. 
The solution remains in the abdomen and cleans the blood for about two to four hours. During this time, the patient is free to go about their day. After the cleaning period is complete, the cleaning solution is drained from the abdomen. This process is repeated about four times per day. Peritoneal dialysis can also be done using a cycler machine. With a cycler machine, treatments can be done at home overnight while sleeping. Once connected, the machine handles the dialysis treatment which takes about 10 hours. When done, you are free to go about your day until the next treatment. That wraps up the options for dialysis. To recap, there is in-center hemodialysis that can be done during the day or at night. There is home hemodialysis. And there is peritoneal dialysis. Talk with your doctor and dialysis care team to learn more about your options. Palliative care. Patients may have local palliative or hospice care programs available. These programs may provide intensive support, pain management, and other benefits for people in need. Some programs offer in-home support while others may have their own facilities. Ask your doctor or social worker for more information if you're interested. Conservative therapy. Some people decide, with their doctor's help, that dialysis isn't the right choice. They may want to spend their remaining time with family rather than extending life with treatment. However, without dialysis or immediate transplant, survival is not likely. Without treatment, most people pass away within a few weeks. It's a personal choice, but one that impacts the whole family. Making your choice. When choosing a treatment for kidney failure, keep in mind that choice doesn't have to be permanent. If your lifestyle or health changes in the future, you always have the option to change the way you receive treatment. Get started by talking to your doctor and dialysis care team about the different treatment options available to you. They'll help you explore your options. Remember, your treatment is your choice.